Hello everyone, Fuzzfinger here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. So, we are currently on the hunt for Vivi, and we've entered this kind of underground section down here, uh, where we have seen some uh, suspicious goings on, shall we say. So, we're going to start today just by grabbing a couple of these chests here. We've got uh, an ether, and over here, uh, I thought could grab that okay so we can grab that chest but we have to uh, first of all jump down from here and access the ah the tool over on the right hand side should we say come on see Dan you're not gonna let a two and a half foot crate beat you here are you there we go there are no random enemy encounters yet although that may change later on so just be prepared for those and we get a good old potion so it wasn't that all worth the effort so nothing else to see here now we can move on to the next area and once again we have yet another stack of crates and something better this time an iron helm should we see if that's of any use to anybody in the party it won't be because the person that's going to want to be using that is the good old Steiner and he's not with us at the moment so we'll once again jump back down and we've got another chest here with a leather wrist so hence the reason I did mention that to you when we were purchasing items at the weapon shop earlier and nothing else to see here so we'll move on to the next section and we've got a little bit of a scene to watch here what the heck is that? Sit down, no! What is it? Someone's crying. Is it Vivi? It is! It is you, Vivi. It's a bit mean, isn't it? Sticking poor Vivi in a box. They must have been getting ready to ship him out somewhere. <laughs> hmm. So, somewhat popular for some reason is Vivi. Obviously, somebody wants him, but we don't know who, why, or what yet. I do like Zidane because he's not a carbon copy of Cloud or Squall, is he? By any stretch of the imagination, he's a very, very different character. And one of the issues, and I don't get me wrong, I love Final Fantasy VIII, but one of the slight issues I had was that Squall was just very, very similar personality to Cloud. So there wasn't really a risk taken with him, but there has been a sedan, so I do like that. Right, so back in control again. First thing we might want to do is just check Vivi's equipment here. He's already got the leather hat, which is the main thing we wanted to give him. Uh, although we could, no actually, I meant the feather hat is what we wanted to give him. I was getting confused then. So since he's already learned the ability from the feather hat, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll equip the add status ability to learn that. Adds weapon status effect when you attack. Okay, it's not going to be too useful for Vivi. But seeing as how he's got the... What are those blue things called? Are they just called ability crystals? Whatever they are anyway, he's uh, not going to be wasting them at the minute. So, we'll go and grab the chest. 95 gil. I feel rich now. 
Now we've got a bit of a choice here. At the moment we've got no enemy encounters. If we open this door, we will have enemy encounters for the remainder of this area. But by opening this door, we'll also have access to a couple of treasures that we wouldn't be able to get otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead for the sake of everybody who wants a complete walkthrough and crank the door open. I'll suffer for your viewing pleasure, as they say. And we also get some obligatory battles as well. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and defend. Should we use Blizzard? We haven't used Blizzard yet, have we? We're just going to defend with Dagger because she's not going to be able to kill anything anyway. So might as well just reduce the damage that she takes. I believe, I could be mistaken actually, so I do need to test this out. I believe every character has to perform one action in order to re receive the experience after the battle. I could be wrong on that, I might be getting my games confused. But I'll test that out, or maybe somebody in the comments can just confirm that one way or the other. <laughs> nice bunch of experience there. So we should also get a scene somewhere in here, I think. Oh, that's kind of a cinematic style background, isn't it? And there should be another item hiding around here. Yep, a phoenix pinion. <laughs> okay, no more scene. Oh, hang on, I did see something then. What was it? That was a weird dot OC or something at the end of his dialogue then. I don't know what that means. Uh, something strange, anyway. And now it's just a case of following the path, basically, to the exit. And we'll basically be interrupted by some scenes as we do so. Is that an egg? So it looks like it's making eggs. I wonder what will be hatching from those. So this mist certainly has some power, doesn't it? Presumably. And it's been operated by a chocobo style hamster. <laughs> being tempted by the greens, I like that. Yeah, they've certainly got the technology. I suppose the chocobo is cheap on electricity. So all these scenes are optional, aren't they? But um, interesting nonetheless. Now remember, we've only got random enemy encounters because we let that mist out. So if you chose not to do so, then you'll be fine. Do you see if there's anything to steal off these vice here? That's a bit of a nasty attack. Since how they're casting fire, we're going to cast blizzard interesting we're no longer one shot in the enemies anymore hey he took his potion back Right, time for some more levels, I should think. Vivi's learnt Blizzard, permanently. I'm just going to go ahead and... use Cure on our party here. That'll do. As we head into the next section. 
I can almost see inside. Ah, so the eggs are actually hatching. Interesting, interesting. It gets uh, deeper. Ooh. They're making VVs. So maybe we're on the very, very, very beginnings of learning about who and or what Vivi is. I don't think you're like that. <laughs> what is Queen Bran up to? So some interesting uh, tidbits of information there, but now we switch over to Steiner here, see what's going on with his, uh, on his side of the world. Morid says I'm busy, so all we can really do is head back down the mountain here, and if we can... That Morid fella's not being very polite, is he? Uh, if we go down here, there should be an item for us to collect. 135 gill. And a chest here, which you can just about see creeping out from the foreground for a high potion. And we'll just double check Steiner's equipment before we go any further. So happy for him to have the iron sword. I think we'll go for the iron helm there. What's using at the minute? Bug killer. Yeah, the iron helm looks good. Uh, bronze gloves, bronze armor, and nothing else there. If you can give him the bird killer ability, then that would actually come in particularly useful. So we are going to go ahead and equip that. Oh, it was already equipped. Very good. My mistake. What's level up? Characters level up faster. Well, that makes sense. And what's bright eyes, which we can't equip? Prevents darkness. That might actually be useful uh, in a little bit because we do have a fight coming up. Uh, no, but no, no. So I'm getting confused. The next fight doesn't have darkness uh, inflicted on us. So don't worry about that. I think that's fine the way we've got everything set up. And we'll just enter the house and see if we can get anything useful out of this Moid fellow here. We could also play cards with him. But I won't do that for the moment. He might put me in a bad mood if he beats me. I'm not here to drink coffee. Tell me when the cargo ship will arrive or else the Alexandrian royal family will appropriate this property. And then what? You can't intimidate this fella, can you? Tell me! You're not a very creative interrogator. Right, okay. So, we've done all we can do here. Which means we're just going to leave this area. For another scene. <laughs> we 
we get the uh, creepy music that probably is telling us that somebody is up to no good. doesn't matter what you do, you can either poke it with your sword or observe it, but we'll go ahead and poke it. So it looks like we're all nicely back together again. I'm sure everything's going to go smoothly from here on out. We're going to load the princess up onto the airship and take her home and everyone's going to be happy. Nothing bad's going to happen to us. <laughs> so poor Vivi's looking a little bit down in the dumps now. The little liar. Hey, you might remember this guy. This is Black Waltz. Except this is Black Waltz number two. So if you remember Black Waltz number one, we fought in the ice cavern. And Zidane had to solo him. And he summoned a giant creature to try and defeat him. But we prevailed then and we will prevail now. This time we have a full party. And this Black Waltz does not summon a creature to fight us. Although he himself does hit hard. He has AoE abilities. And he has quite a bit more health. Over a thousand hit points. A thousand and thirty to be precise. One thing we should be aware of is that Black Waltz number two will not attack the princess. However, if the other three characters are KO'd, then he will cast a spell on the princess in order to kidnap her effectively, ending the game. It will be game over at that point anyway. So use her to heal up the other characters. You can also throw a tent on this guy which does uh, status ailments, negative status ailments against an enemy and darkness can hit but this guy does a lot of uh, magic attacks anyway so you're probably not going to be doing all that much in the way of uh, preventing damage by doing that so and by the way you will want to steal the few things that he has, he has two items So we're just going to defend on Dagger here because we don't want to waste her mana healing somebody we don't know who needs healing. Oh, by the way, he has a Fire ability, which is also quite nasty. So there's two items we can steal off him, both are somewhat useful. Uh, See, so Dan can steal again. So we do just need to keep an eye on these hit points here. We'll go ahead and heal Zidane there. We need to be a little bit careful here because VV is going to be in a bit of trouble if he casts his AoE ability again.
I do have the cursor set to memory rather than uh, reset. I find that a lot more useful, especially when you're trying to steal off the enemy. There we go, I just stole the leather plate and Zidane has just handily gone into trance mode here. Although it's just finished because I didn't get to use it. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and start taking this guy out. Should just take a few more hits and we can be done with him. where things start to get a little bit nasty as you can see look at this spam attacking goodbye Steiner uh, mm, it's a bit annoying that she still casts cure on the dead character but luckily I think we've just about um, got through that so just watch that fire spell be ready for it. it's nasty nice bit of gear to add to our money collection Right, so we have a choice here now. We can depart immediately or we can rest at the inn. If you choose rest at the inn, it gives you an opportunity to heal up uh, for free and to save your game as well, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So whenever you're ready, you can leave this section and then go back to where you were. Looks like that chest hasn't been opened. But I don't think there's any way to access it at this particular moment, so we'll leave it. That feather's in the way. So we'll head to, uh, before we go to the inn actually. Oh no, well, we've moved in now, so I'll mention what I was going to mention afterwards. Right, so we'll rest up for free. And that has brought Steiner back to life, which is good to see. And with that done, we'll head over to the Moogle here. Just check there's nothing on Magnet. Pretty sure that's the one we sorted out earlier on. So we'll just go ahead and save and I'll finish the episode here. So thanks for joining me again guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and if you enjoyed this episode please do support me by hitting the like button and join me next time as we continue on with more Final Fantasy IX. Bye guys, take care.